it's Barefoot Racing Adventures, and today we're at Volusia Speedway Park for night three of the Sunshine Nationals. Weather is nice, cool, and crisp. Let's see what happens next. Here we go. Joseph Joyner with the 10 car. Hunt the front. How are you That's doing right. today, man? All good, man. Good. And, and he did a great job the other night. We started there, I think, six in our heat, and was able to, you know, get to the transfer spot, and started 16th in the feature. I feel like I was three wide, basically, the whole entire distance. out there on that slick track and made it tonight i mean went forward you know having having trouble getting a right front grip you know uh, to get in the corner good hopefully we can be a little bit better on that tonight I'm sure everybody's gonna be better so we got to be better with them now tonight it's ten thousand to win so this is the big night yeah, yeah i mean it's gonna be a good race i know yeah. it was a, it was a, it was a blast out there racing i'm I, my first time really racing on the place and i enjoyed it you know i got i hate it it's so far from home but i'm excited for tonight it ought to be a good show excellent man you know that's a big part of it just yep. going out there and being able to have fun yeah, with this i had a blast for sure that's awesome man <laughs> so glad to hear it. i'll be rooting for you and i think the whole world will be rooting for you my friend that's so right. maybe we can give give everybody something to cheer for anyway. absolutely thank you so much yep. kyle strickler high side tickler yeah he he is he's a class act just a joy to talk to and a driver on top of that I've seen the videos huh oh yeah barefoot I mean, the boy in the kryptonite car. Yeah, that's right. Tyler he's Carpenter. Carpenter. Yeah. He is. He's uh, he's as crazy as his hair, dude, I yeah. think. He, <laughs> but he can wheel a car. It don't matter what you put him in, really. Crazy. Hunt the front, guys. They're part of our YouTube family. Uh, you're part of my YouTube family now, so try to keep up with it and uh, do what we can to support you guys and, and love watching the videos. Kyle Strickler. I had a lot of time to think about what we want to do to make the race car better. That's all part of the game. It's kind of neat to, to see the racetrack have different dirt on it because it makes all of us kind of work on our setups. So me being fairly new to the late models, I think it kind of helps us some um, because we don't have to come down here and battle against the guys that have notebooks for 10, 20, years down here they gotta kind of start fresh here same with you i hope we uh we have another good run tonight i hope so too brother i know i enjoyed watching you just rail that cushion and you know i mean it's just so impressive to watch you wheel the race car dude every time we appreciate you letting us ride along again now have fun out there and go do what you do brother we'll see if we can't rip the top again tonight put on a show uh, one last question for you you ever heard of dan stone i've obviously raced with him uh, a few times yeah, i've never met the guy but uh, i know he uh, he runs pretty good up there in the pennsylvania region for sure that's right yeah he's from pennsylvania that's what's so cool about florida you know a lot of people want to get out of the cold it's awesome to see people from come from all over to come down to this you know, Florida few weeks i heard that you ran Bristol in the year 2000. Is that right? We did. Well, I had never been there even for a NASCAR race. You go to a facility like that, everything's so nice. They have just a beautiful place. We've talked about it for months. We've dreamed about it for years. It has happened. Bristol Motor Speedway has dirt. Hello, everybody. I'm Mark Allen. What a night it is going to be here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Roby, what about the anticipation and excitement of the driver? Well, Mark, I talked to one driver earlier, and he put it into perspective. Was it scary to go ahead? I mean, yeah. I mean, back then I was probably young enough I didn't know any better. So, right. like, even now when you think about it, you're like, eh, I don't know if I need to go do that again. You right. know? But, uh, you know, back then it was cool. We didn't really know any better. We didn't know what we were doing. I remember it was just so fast. Back then we used to make our own roofs and everything and hoods and you know, it, they weren't stiff enough for there. The, the roof would be flapping and the hood would cave in. You know, it was just so much air moving. You were going so fast. That How many races would you say you've won in your over 20 year career? Now? Probably around 115, 120 maybe. 115 like to 120 career wins. That's nothing to be uh, ashamed about. That's for sure. That's pretty awesome. It's been a good career. You know, it's, it's hard to believe I've been racing for that long. And you look back on it, you're like, wow, that's a long time, you know, but it doesn't seem like that long ago that I was just starting out. So this is David's Hillbilly Hilton. It is a great place to watch the race. Up to the top of the Hillbilly Hilton. I spoke with David. He said I can come up here anytime I want. So here we go. I'll tell you what. This is a nice track. Nice facility with some hidden gems like this here Hillbilly Hilton. It's a beautiful place it's spread out. There's the gator ponds back here. What'd you find there? <laughs> <laughs> We got a gator in the pond. That's something to look at. 
<laughs> I'm here with Kyle Bronson, first winner of the year 2021. How's that feel, brother? Feels great. I hope we're going to be the second winner. Keep it rolling, right? I sure hope so. The car's pretty good right now. I'm going to make the right decisions through the night, put the right tires on there. I made a couple bad decisions. I got tight there at the end. I got over the cushion, and I felt like I gave the race away to Cade. <laughs> Good run leaving turn four and slide them down at one and two. You can have fast cars, nothing go your way, and then some days you just be okay and everything fall on your lap. And it's everything went my way, and it was my day yesterday. It was your day, man. It was so exciting to watch that all take place. Yes, it's really extremely nice just to be close to home. You know, all year long we don't ever get to go home, maybe a couple times a year, and it's it's nice to only be two and a half hours away from home and get to race, and we're gonna go home tonight, and we're gonna go to test tomorrow at East Bay, and this get ready for our speed week deal here you know we got a long speed week ahead of us we're gonna try to race every speed week's race they are and yeah, it's a lot of work just like hitting all these races i mean you know lack of sleep is, is one thing i mean did you get any sleep last night <laughs> yeah i got some last night you know the rain out you know we went to bed quite early after we worked on the car but it's the time of my life you know speed weeks is the most fun i have all year long you know if i could race speed weeks every every day of my life i'd love it you know what I'm saying? that's just that's just what i love you know we get to go to east bay pretty soon it's one of my favorite tracks and you know we got all tech coming up and bubba's coming up bubba's is awesome you know i had a lot of success there you know i'm just really looking forward to all of them and I can't wait. Brother, we'll be riding with you and I appreciate that very much and just go out there and do your thing, man. You guys are real professionals. Well done. Well done. Just finished up with super late model qualifying. Dan Stone got held up by Kate Dillard in front of him that jumped the cushion. Dan said he had to, you know, he killed his time. very well. The high side tickler. Here we go, heat race is about to get kicked off. 